What's up boys and girls? So I had the good fortune to check out Gauntlet 2014. It just came out today. If you haven't heard of Gauntlet before, it's a really, really old game. It originally came back out in uh, 1985 and it was in a, uh, an arcade release and then from there you'd see it on different platforms like uh, you know PC uh, as well as the NES and a lot of us uh, older gamers out there had a lot of happy memories playing this game and what made it different was that it was a game which had uh, you know four different players that you could select and uh, those different players actually had different talents so you have a, a barbarian, an archer, uh, a wizard, a valkyrie and they all play the game a little bit differently so it was from a top-down perspective and it was just really fun being able to play with your friends and for them to utilize the different talents of the different fighters and, and you know having that, that level of teamwork. So now we have Gauntlet 2014 and, and a lot of people have been really salivating over this with their good memories and nostalgic memories of Gauntlet and, and being able to play that again. So you know I basically uh, had a first look and got my initial impressions here. So I think it's really important to always uh, for a reviewer and you know for anyone talking about a game when they're recommending or not to explain what context that they come from you know there's different types of players so you know in the ca uh, case of Gauntlet uh, it's whether you're a Gauntlet fan or if you're someone who's familiar with Gauntlet you played it but you wouldn't necessarily say as a fan you, you enjoyed it but you played a lot of other games uh, or if you're completely unfamiliar with it either uh, you're a younger gamer or um, you know what you didn't play games back then whatever that might be so I think that's really important to to understand that context because uh, naturally everyone has a bias and I have a bias you know and no game is really oh this is the best game or not it's just always a matter of perspective so my personal perspective is I was a, a gamer who was familiar with Gauntlet I wouldn't say I was a a fan of it I enjoyed it I played a lot of different other games I thought it was a great game but I didn't really sit there you know day after day coming back and playing it all the time with my friends and was obsessive with it so that would change your your perspective of it so uh, my my review is is on that sort of basis but I will also give what I think some of the other types of players what they would think about the the overall game so overall my experience was that it was a good experience I had a lot of fun playing it but it wasn't necessarily that that you know stuck with me that you know I felt uh, you know, it's it's a game that that I'm gonna just keep on coming back to. But I really did enjoy it overall. It was a good experience. So I'm gonna talk about some of the individual aspects here. So uh, graphic wise, um, this I give it about a seven out of ten. You know, it was uh, you know nothing mind blowing here. Uh, everything was pretty clean. The, the graphics were good, but you know I think in general today's graphic standard is pretty high. So you know it 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 passed in that regard. Uh, although at times I was a little bit spoiled from playing a lot of games that have been inspired by Gauntlet and you know wanting to zoom down into the the camera a little bit closer and look at the character and I'd understand why you can't do that it sort of takes away from some of the effect uh, of the game and also a bit of the retro effect and some of the, the gameplay effects but you know there's a lot of games that have, have been inspired by Gauntlet so in my mind my my sense of reality has changed a little bit because it's you know it sort of looks like that old game that I, I played but not the same time it doesn't feel like that same old game because you know it looks like a lot of other gauntlet emulation games that that have taken that sort of top-down approach and and you can zoom in so I got used to that but you know the graphics were good you know they were good there was nothing like oh wow that's amazing um, but you know it was up to today's taste standard so I'd give it a 7 out of 10 everything was well done artwork style was was well done um, audio wise nothing really uh, mind-blowing or special here you know uh, just was pretty average um, there were some you know cool little sounds that would be retro and that you know that would give sort of like you know moments of like oh that's pretty cool you know like you just you, you feel that sort of retro feeling of being in the arcade uh, back so you know, but nothing uh, was really amazing here. Nothing was uh, mind blowing. You know, I didn't have the music sticking in my head or anything like that. So, you know, it was it was an average. So, you know, that I basically give it gave it a six out of ten. Now, gameplay. This is where it really excelled. So, you know, 
you you've got the 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 same sort of gameplay style as as uh, gauntlets uh, from the original game, where you know you walk into the labyrinth and you have to strategize. And you know here now you can also play multiplayer with your friends online, and that adds a, a different dynamic. But gameplay was was solid. You know this was where it was really really fun, and you see the difference between older game design and and newer game design. It wasn't about you know the gimmicks. Even though you could argue that the original Gauntlet had the gimmick of the the different characters, where they had different powers and different things, but you can really feel the difference between the different characters and how they play. It really does make a difference uh, in your experience. I found you know just being able to to mix and match the different moves, you know, were were you know uh, was always always interesting, and you know, learning how do I how I can can I play better and the game was actually pretty challenging so even on the easy and normal mode for a casual player it still was relatively challenging but not to the point where you want to you know kill yourself not like demon soul or, or you know type type hard like it was you know it, it was hard and you know be like oh okay you know you died and you don't mind replaying the other aspects again you just want to be able to do things better it entices you that way and it just brings back that that concept of arcade action again, like real arcade action that really lacks in today's games. You don't really see that. You know, it's all about today's a lot about it's a lot about the gimmicks or you know coming out with a unique angle for a theme or you know you know being something different. You know, like whether it be being a thief or you know make a game about a a, a truck driver who who you know shoots people, whatever that might be. They probably always come from a different angle. But you know the real substance is just the the level of detail when you think about like games like Mario, like Gauntlet, where it didn't have much to work with, but they just put so much attention to detail with the different elements of the game, the the uh, monsters that would come at you and how they would come at you and all the combinations and make it a, a really good experience. So you know definitely I think the um, the gameplay is where it excels. You know so I give it about a nine out of ten, and that's where I just I found it fun. You know it just it was just fun and uh, you know better than a lot of games uh, these days. So, you know, basically on all those different aspects, you know, so where do I overall stand with the game? Now, as I mentioned, you know, it all really depends on what sort of context uh, you come from. So, you know, my particular context is I was a familiar Gauntlet player. I enjoyed it. Won't say I was a fanboy about it, but uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good game. I thought it was cool. Um, and then, of course, if you're a Gauntlet fan or unfamiliar. So, if you're a Gauntlet fan, I think you'll give this a 9 out of 10. I think you'll love this game. I think you'll bring back a lot of memories and you'll have a lot more added with it. Um, yeah, and you, I think you will really enjoy that that experience uh, of this game. So, you know, I think definitely for Gauntlet fans, get this game. Get this game. You will enjoy it. You'll, you'll really, really uh, like it. Um, for a player like myself, as a familiar player, I give it about a 7 out of 10. So I enjoyed it, but ultimately I still do weigh it out with where it stands, and I realize the impact of where you know Gauntlet is. Gauntlet is a game that inspired a lot of other games, you know, and a lot of other games uh, that have you know done what they've done and emulated and, and looked at it. So you know, I really think about if I took the name Gauntlet away from this game and if I played this. Would it be something that I would really be, you know, glued to? No, not necessarily. But it was, was well done. You know, uh, it was well done. Uh, everything was was good. Nothing, you know, bad to really say about it. But you know, a lot of it that holds in my mind its 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 weight is the the feeling of nostalgia and also just the gauntlet name, right? So I, I'd give it about a seven ten, seven out of ten. Like wasn't wasn't blowing my mind any sort of way. But it was a, it was a good. Fun, uh, well put together game. Now, if you're an unfamiliar player, you could be a uh, you know a younger player, a Call of Duty player. You really didn't get into gaming back back in the 80s or, or 90s. You weren't born. You weren't you know you're doing more important things. Um, then I think you 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 probably give this about a five out of ten. You know you probably won't find what's the big deal about this and what's you know why is it so special. So. You know, for sure, um, you know, you know, you'll definitely probably match it up to what else is out there. And in some ways, things will probably seem a bit of a step back. You know, in terms of, again, like the graphics are not bad, but you say, well, why can't I zoom in to the camera and, and look at it 
a little bit closer. So, so overall, that's my synopsis of it. So for my personal rating, I gave it a seven out of ten. But if you're a Gauntlet fan, I think you really should get it. Uh, and if you're an unfamiliar player, I won't say don't get it because you might like it, but you probably will find it uh, probably initially average, and you might not have the patience at first to just really enjoy it. But um, you know, I think I think it's still worth looking at. It depends on what else you have in your collection of games. If you don't have a game like this today, then it's still worth worth purchasing. If you don't have a game that you can't play with other people, uh, for the unfamiliar player, um, you know, I think it's still worth worth looking at. So uh, overall, you know, good experience, uh, good game. I think it's worth worth checking it out. Gauntlet 2014, signing out.